Stories have existed for thousands of years and have been enjoyed for just as long. Whether it's an Orwellian dystopia or a Homeric epic, stories always revolve around the characters within them. Narratives such as these have been spread and adapted thanks to modern technology, leading to the rise of pop culture. Popular culture is defined as culture transmitted through mass media. As a result of this spread, audience members of these stories eventually come across a character they deem to be their favorite. The qualifications for a favorite character do vary from person to person. Some people prefer characters based on aesthetic or superpower, in the case of superheroes. Some may choose their favorite character because they represent an escapist fantasy for them. But do people favor characters with similar traits to themselves? This is what we have set out to test in our experiment. For our anonymous online survey, we asked several questions of our subjects. First, we asked them to rate themselves on a scale of 1 to 5, how courageous, resourceful, and kind they are. Next, we asked who their favorite fictional character is, and then we asked them to rate that character on a scale from 1 to 5 in courageousness, resourcefulness, and kindness. For our experiment, we decided we would run six significance tests, one for each quality testing if they were equal, and another for each quality testing if the character had greater values, assuming that the values were not equal. In the following set of hypotheses, let C equal courage, K equal kindness, R equal resourcefulness, CH equal character, and S equal subject. The first three sets of hypotheses all are as follows. An initial hypothesis that the trait of a character is equal to the trait of a subject, and an alternate hypothesis that they are not equal. The second three sets of hypotheses involve the same initial hypothesis, but the alternate hypothesis changed such that now the character's traits are greater than the subject's traits. In the end, we got 35 responses to our poll, with some responders from our class, but also numerous from across the internet. Here is a compilation image of every character mentioned. Hermione Granger from Harry Potter received the most votes of any character at four, while most characters were only chosen once. Honestly, I'm pretty surprised by some of the choices people put down. I mean, like, Perry the Platypus? He's a platypus. They don't do much. Anyways, we aren't really interested in the specific characters chosen. What we want to know is the association between the character and the subject in each of the three fields. The first step in our calculations involved us getting the basic statistics of all the data we collected. We sorted everything into the proper lists to find the mean and standard deviation of each trait for both the character and the subject. Feel free to pause if you'd like to look at them further. For all of our significance tests, we did not know the population's mean or standard deviation at all. As a result, we ran two sample t-tests, comparing the first sample being the character and the second sample being the subject. For our courage tests, we received a p-value of 1.4 times 10 to the negative 9th. That's 0.0000000014. By comparing this to a p-value of 0.05, we see that it is less, which means that we reject the null hypothesis at the 95% confidence level. What we can extrapolate from this is that people do not favor characters with the same courage as them. So now that we know that they're not similar, does the character have greater courage than the subject? By running this test, we got a p-value of 7.3 times 10 to the negative 9th. Again, it's times 10 to the negative 9th. You can extrapolate how small of a value that is. This is far less than 0.05, so we once again reject the null hypothesis at the 95% confidence level, which means that people favor characters with greater courage than themselves. The kindness tests were actually different. When we tested equality, we found the p-value was 0.77. This is greater than 0.05 by quite a bit, so we failed to reject the null hypothesis at the 95% confidence level. 
This shows that people favor characters with similar kindness to themselves. Because we know it's already similar, there's no need to run the second test for kindness, whether the character was better or not. For resourcefulness, this ran similarly to courage, but not quite as extreme. The p-value we received when testing equality versus inequality was 0. .00066. This is also less than 0. .05, so we reject the null hypothesis at the 95% confidence level. This shows that people do not favor characters with similar resourcefulness. In checking if the character had a greater resourcefulness than the subject, we received a p-value of 0. .00033. Again, this is less than 0. .05, so we reject the null hypothesis at the 95% confidence level, which means that people favor characters with greater resourcefulness than themselves. takeaways from our calculations are that when it comes to courage and resourcefulness, people not only favor characters with different levels than themselves, they also prefer characters greater than themselves. However, people prefer characters at a similar kindness level to themselves as well. One limitation our project had was the number of traits tested for. We only tested for kindness, courageousness, and resourcefulness, when in reality other traits most likely affected the survey takers' choices. Another issue of our survey is subjectivity. Different people might rate the same character differently, and the ambiguous meanings for the values 1 through 5 that were put on the survey may have caused some confusion in test takers. For example, Darth Vader, a villain that kills people yet is redeemed at the end, scored a 2 in kindness, while Bakugo, an ill-tempered and arrogant hero, scored a 1. If we were to do this project again, we would try and fix these problems to the best of our ability, although some may never be able to be overcome. In the end, even with our somewhat flawed approach, we still learned about some interesting and surprising trends in characters people like.